A group of teachers is suing another Virginia school district for a policy that forces educators to conceal a student's gender identity from the student's parents. It is Alliance Defending Freedom now representing six people, John, in the city of Harrisonburg. And the school policy, here it is, folks, it states that, quote, HCPS staff must affirm a student's gender dysphoria by always utilizing a student's preferred name and pronouns based exclusively on a student not their parents request right there in black and white and ends there with any HCPCS staff member who does not comply with the policy and practice will face disciplinary action. All right, joining us now is the senior counsel of the Alliance Defending Freedom, Ryan Banger. Ryan, great to have you back with us. John, thank you for having us on. All right, what type of disciplinary actions are these educators facing if they don't follow these guidelines? Well, John, the policy that the school has put forward violates parents' constitutional rights. Parents, we start with the Constitution, we start with the law. And the law provides that parents have a fundamental right to control the upbringing and education of their children. And educators are being told by the school system that if a child requests it, they have to use certain pronouns at school, but not use those pronouns when speaking with the parents. It's active deception. And that violation of that policy could lead to disciplinary consequences for these teachers. Yeah, there seems to be an interesting trend here, Ryan. You know, Virginia makes a lot of headlines. Uh, we shared a similar story happening in Fairfax County. Of course, Loudoun County is where the controversy over that cover up. There was a sexual assault in a bathroom. A boy wearing a skirt goes into a girl's room and she's attacked. Um, we know that, you know, education, parental rights is something that helped Governor Glenn Young can get elected when Terry McAuliffe made that ill fated comment right before, you know, the election saying parents don't have the say that they're schools. So, why do you think specifically? we're seeing so many stories like this sort of erupting where, where you are. Parents are beginning to pay attention. I think COVID really forced parents for the first time in some cases to pay close attention to what was happening in their children's schools. And what they're finding are policies like the one in Harrisonburg that are requiring staff and teachers to lie to parents, to deceive parents about critical health information concerning their kids. And parents are saying enough is enough. We're not going to have it anymore. We do have a fundamental right, and that right is being infringed. Yeah, I mean, Ryan, I just want to go back to my first question. I don't know if I got an answer. You know, are, are the teachers being threatened with termination? What happens to them if they, if they don't comport with this guideline? Well, that's exactly what we're trying to prevent. If they don't comport with the guideline, they could be written up and subject to disciplinary punishment by the school for not following school policy. And that could include everything from discipline, having a note in your file, up to and including termination. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we've seen this all across the country. Yeah. And we don't believe that schools, quite frankly, it's not just us, it's the law that schools cannot require teachers and staff to deceive parents about critical health information concerning their kids. Uh, this is a parental rights issue, but it's also a First Amendment free speech issue for the teachers as well. Yeah, you know, you think about what other rights do kids have to make these types of life-altering decisions at this age. There aren't very many of them. Uh, Ryan Banger from the Alliance Defending Freedom, thank you for your time.